and Shalom on Israel. Uh, first off, I just want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and I want to say peace and blessings to the elect Akim that's pushing the word in uh, sincerity and truth, man. You know, I just want to bring out a few uh, scriptures today because basically I just was uh, kind of uh, meditating just on the state of our people and when I say our people I'm talking about the nation of Israel which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans because basically right now the Most High Yahweh has us uh, basically uh, looked at as the curse says in Deuteronomy the 28th chapter as an astonishment and a, and a proverb and a byword amongst all these other heathen nations man because our people, uh, basically, they, they, they've uh, fallen away from the standard that the Most High uh, gave for them to live by. And basically, our nation is in complete shambles right now. The elect uh, of the nation of Israel is the nation's only hope, man. Those first fruits, you know, who were set up to be redeemed by Yahweh Shah, you know, they, they're, the only, they're the last best hope for our people, man. Because... Uh, two-thirds of our people man like the scriptures also say they're gonna have to be destroyed man because they're just engulfed in complete wickedness and idolatry man they've basically taken uh, on the ways of our oppressor man to where we don't have any type of brotherly love and camaraderie amongst each other you know our comp our nation is completely out of order our women are out of order our families are broken down like everybody within our nation is sick you know poor just uh, destitute, ignorant, I can go on and on and on. But the real reason why we in this predicament is because we fell away from the standard that the Most High gave to us. And that standard was given to us specifically, man, because we're the Most High's people, man. So if he gave us a standard, we have to live by it, you know? But uh, like I was saying, the hope for the nation is that the elect that the Most High set up they gonna get with the program and they gonna return back into that standard in a lot of times, man. You know? But this first scripture I wanted to get, uh, it's in the book of Deuteronomy. Uh, this is Deuteronomy 4, and I'll start at 5. It says, Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my power commanded me, that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. So, you know, the Lord basically uh, taught us statutes and judgments that whatever land we was to dwell in, man, we was to uh, keep our statutes and commandments, man. But I'm going to keep on reading. Verse 6, it says, Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. So basically, man, whatever land that the nation of Israel is dwelling in, if we were basically taking heed to keeping the, the statutes and commandments of the Most High, man, they should be basically be able to see a reflection of the Most High uh, within us, man, and just how we conduct in ourselves, man. Having that, that standard of excellence, man, having that standard of righteousness from on high, man, you know? And all the other nations are supposed to be in awe of us being just a great nation, man, being that wholly separate nation, man, that was set up to be righteous. But right now, it's completely uh, flipped upside down. Nations look at us all right, but it's in uh, disdain. You know, it's not an admiration. They look down upon us. But the, like I was saying, like the hope uh, for our nation is that the Most High is setting up elect men who are going to return back unto that standard. Uh, let's see, it says, verse 7, it says, For what nation is there so great who had the Most High so not unto them? As the Lord, our power is in all things that we can call upon him for. So, man, just going back to just previous times where we were in line with our heavenly power. Whenever uh, we went through distress and we called on the name of the heavenly father, he always delivered us out of those uh, straight, uh, those dire straits, pretty much, man. And that just further shows that we are the most highest people. The nation of Israel, we, we got to be the most highest people because... Of course, all of the curses in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, they they fit us to the T, especially uh, the curses of what would happen to our nation if we fell away from the law statutes, from the law statutes and commandments of the Heavenly Father. And that's what we're seeing today. We're a living embodiment as a nation uh, of those curses and, and the consequence of us uh, 
putting away that standard, the law, statutes, and commandments that our heavenly power gave us as a nation. And I'm going to uh, prove that. He only gave the, the statutes and commandments to the nation of Israel. That's why we're subject to, to keep those things. It says, this is uh, Psalms 147 and 19. It says, he showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. So we the only nation. The nation of Israel is the only nation that the Most High gave a set of law, statutes, and commandments to live by. You know, not any nation, you know? So that's why we're subject to keep those things. But we know uh, through the curses, of course, and through just process of time, that it leads up to the day why we're in the condition that we're in now. And I'm gonna, you know, hit a few uh, precepts to just kind of back up that point, you know? Uh, this next uh, scripture that I'll get, it's in the book of Jeremiah, the 17th chapter. And this is a future prophecy, man. This shows that the Most High basically stripped us away from that standard of having the law, statutes, and commandments because we weren't keeping it, man. Uh, basically, we, we went uh, after keeping or uh, following the ways after these heathen nations that we were dwelling amongst, you know? And it's no different from today here in America, man. Uh, this is Jeremiah 17 and 4. It says... And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever. So that, that further uh, proves the point, man. The Most High uh, says he that the nation of Israel, they shall discontinue from their heritage. And part of the heritage of the nation of Israel is having a blueprint of how to live those law, statutes, and commandments. Which, you know, the elect in the latter times, the Most High is putting that spirit back into the elect to understand his ways, his law, statutes, and commandments, and follow those ways. Because we're hoping for salvation, you know? So that brings me to my next point, man. Because at the end of the day, uh, it, it's all about attaining salvation. Because we know uh, we're in the land of our captivity right now. And we know we can't uh, wholeheartedly... Or I'm not going to say that, but we can't basically keep uh, all of our laws and statutes and commandments in this captivity. That's why the scripture says in Judges 5 and 11 that we shall rehearse the righteous acts. But the elect men, to the best of their ability, through faith in Yahweh Shah, we, we came back to that standard, man. That's part of us working out our salvation to be ready to be found worthy to receive salvation when our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah returns. And I'm going to get this scripture in 2 Peter, you know, to, to prove how the Most High set up elect men in a lot of times that was going to come back to that standard of, of keeping his ways, you know. Uh, this is 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 1. It says, This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. So, uh... You know, the elect men that's out there uh, teaching the word, man, that's out on the highways and the byways prophesying of, of the, the downfall of great Babylon, prophesying about the kingdom of heaven, man. Lord willing, if we're those men, our pure minds have been stirred up back to remembrance, man, to remember our former ways that the Most High gave us, man. It says that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior, you know. So uh, basically, man, the, 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 the men that are out preaching the word in sincerity right now, the hopeful elect, man, uh, we're mindful of the words that were spoken of four times by the prophets, man, and them prophesying of the Messiah that was to come. So that's why we're trying to get back in the good graces of the Most High, man, you know, so that through his son, will have that mercy to be saved out of all this judgment that's set to come on this place, man. You know, that's how we're mindful, you know, of, of the ways of old, man, because we're, 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 we're basically trying to live according to that standard that was given to us a, a, a time, you know. And uh, it was a word I wanted to get in uh, 2 Peter 3 and 1. It's that word, pure. I'm going to look it up in the blue letter. Uh... I'll go ahead and get it. It's the uh, Strong's G1506. 
Strong's G 1506, Alecrines, Alecrines. And that word for pure in the Greek, it says Alecrines. It says pure, sincere, unsullied, found pure when unfolded and examined by the sun's light. So uh, hopefully if we're those men, man, like, like that, that's the point, man. Like the most high is staring up our sincere mind back to remembrance, man. To sincerely through faith, follow uh, the law, statutes, and commandments in hope of salvation when uh, his son, Yahweh Shah, returns. But I just want to further go into that word. There was a root. <clears throat> just bear with me one moment, brothers. That root for that word pure in uh, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 1, it says, Strong's G, 2919, Krino, Krino. So the root word for pure is uh, crino. It says to separate, put asunder, to pick out, select, choose, to approve, esteem, to prefer, to be of opinion, deem, think, to be of opinion of, to determine, resolve, agree, to judge. So basically, because uh, the scriptures tells you in Deuteronomy uh, uh, 7 and 6, man, that the Most High had uh, made the nation of Israel to be a holy people. And that word holy means separate. So that's talking about the elect, man, uh, who's uh, who the Most High basically stirred up their pure mind back to remembrance. Those were those men who were basically chosen out from the foundation of the earth to receive salvation. So that's one of the reasons why the Most High bestowed his word. That's why through the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, our minds were able to be stirred back up to our old ways, man, through the word, man. So that we'll have a chance to repent, walk in the light, you know, walk after the law, statutes, and commandments through faith to have a chance at salvation, you know. But it's this other script I wanted to get, you know, it's in uh, 1 Peter. This is actually, uh, hold on, brothers. This is actually 1 Peter's chapter 1. Uh, and I'll start at verse 3 because at the end of the day the reason why uh, we just rejoice in the fact that the Most High and we're so thankful that the Most High stirred up our pure minds back to remembrance is because we know that Great Babylon aka America is set to be destroyed and we know through the prophecies that there is a deliverer, a redeemer Yahweh Shah who's going to be set to, to, to come in the last days and pluck out those elect men man who whose peers' minds have been stirred back up. So that's why we uh, 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 hold or basically understand the importance of that standard of keeping the laws and statutes and commandments to the best of our ability, you know? Even though we know that uh, keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments, that's not going to ultimately save us. It's our uh, faith in Yahweh Shah and that grace and that mercy is which ultimately is going to save us. But we still, we, we do the best that we can out of that hope of being saved, you know? But I'm going to get this precept in uh, 1 Peter's chapter 1. I'll start at verse 3. It says, Blessed be the Most High and Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shah, Hamashiach, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Yahweh Shah from the dead. So that's the key point I wanted to get out of that precept. It says, uh, I'm, I'll read it again. 1 Peter's 1 and 3. It says, Blessed be the Most High and Father of our Lord Yahweh Shah, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again. You know? So even though we fell away from keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of our heavenly power, those were there are elect men that the Most High set up to, 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 to get it again. It says that uh, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again. You know? So the Most High had begotten us again. That's a part also of us having our pure mind stirred back up to remembrance, man, to receive this word with readiness, to understand the law, statutes, and commandments, and be able to apply that to your life. But the only thing uh, now that this time, man, is it's all through uh, faith in Yahweh Shah that we uh, keep the law, statutes, and, com and commandments because we recognize that he's the Savior that was prophesied to, to redeem our nation, man, out of all this, this hell that's to come. It says, uh, this is verse 4, it says, To an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that fadeth not away, 
reserved in heaven for you. So the elect, man, from the foundation of earth, they was they was always set up to receive that salvation and, and basically be the first fruits uh, entering into the kingdom of heaven, man. You know. So that's the hope of us basically coming back to that standard, coming back to the law, statutes and commandments, man. And even though you've got a lot of scoffers, even when brothers out on the highways and the byways preaching all these different heathens and stuff, man, they look at us in astonishment. We look crazy. We look foolish. But the, the most high's power is being shown through that. Because one thing all these people can't say is they can't they can't say that we ain't diligent. They can't say that we're not sincere. Because week in and week out, starting with our apostles and elders, man, uh, and on down, brothers uh, faithfully, man, come out. You know, each week out on the highways and the byways, preaching the word, putting up videos, man. You know, studying up, studying, of course, and then just ultimately living out your life according to that standard. It's all in hope of salvation when Yahweh Shah returns, you know. Uh, this is First Peter's 1 and 5. It says, who are kept by the power of the Most High through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. And we're in that last time right now, man, you know. We're in a time where that salvation is about to be revealed. And we know that there's certain men that was uh, prophesied to receive that salvation. So that's another reason why uh, it's so important for us to hold on to that standard and try to perfect and master that standard to the best of our ability in our walk of faith and, and through Yahweh Shai, you know? It says, this is verse 6, it says, Wherein uh, ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, Ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations because, man, we're in a wicked society to where uh, everything is, 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 is uh, contradictory or everything is against the, the, the ways of the Most High, the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. That's why this place is known as Great Babylon, the land of confusion. So for the elect men that the Most High has set up to, to try to hold on to that standard of keeping the law, statutes, and commandments through faith, man. We're going to face uh, many different temptations because we're still in the flesh, you know. Verse 7, it says that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shah. So, uh... We know that our faith is going to be tried through all the tribulations and things that brothers go through, man. Just like gold is tried because the scriptures also equate the elect as to being fine gold. And you know when you put gold through fire, it's made more pure. You know? So that just goes back furthermore, man, with our, uh, that, that our pure minds being stirred back up. And as we go uh, from day to day in this, in this sinking empire, man, you know, we hope uh, that our faith increases through... Just actively applying the law, statutes, and commandments that the Most High gave us through faith that His Son, Yahweh Shah, is going to save us at the end, man. You know? It says, verse 8, it says, Whom having not seen, ye love, and whom though now ye see him not, yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls, man. So, at the end of the day, it's all about attaining salvation when Yahweh Shah returns. That's receiving the end of your faith. You know, the salvation of our soul. So that, that's the importance, man. That's why we're so uh, thankful that the Most High stirred up our pure minds back to remembrance to where we understand the ways of the Most High and how to keep His ways all through faith because we know that in of ourselves, living in this flesh, that we can't keep the laws perfectly, but we do understand uh, His standard and uh, basically his guideline for our life and we try to live it to the best of our ability through faith man and hopefully uh, it'll be enough uh, to where we'll be delivered when his son Yahweh Shah returns so hopefully man that's edifying uh, the times that we in now you know it's a lot of uh, bickering going on amongst the nation of Israel you got guys that's getting butt hurt you know who fell out of the faith that's coming up talking uh, 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 negatively against the doctrine you know, coming up with false doctrines, trying to slander men that taught them. But at the end of the day right now, man, with too much on the line and life on the death on the line, it's really just time to examine yourself, man, and work out your own salvation. And just make sure that your life is lining up with the standard 
uh, of the law, statutes, and commandments that the Most High gave uh, gave to the nation of Israel, man, and, and really walking in that in that faith, and y'all and hope that Yahweh Shah gonna save you at the end. So you know that that's all I really have uh, for our people, man. That that the Most High uh, has allowed to 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 be able to to get this word in these last days, man. Repent, repent, because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You know. So with that, you know. I just want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And just want to say Shalom to the sincere Akim that's fighting, you know, this good fight of faith. And with that, I want to say Shalom.